Ho, this is Tom Styles, Tom's Radio Room Show, and today we're going to try to do some surgery on this. I'm going to get out of the clamp here for a second. This broom stick antenna that I have not been able to get to work, and I want to find out what the problem is. And I'm going to make several passes at getting into this thing and see if we can find out what's going on. So the first thing I'm going to try is I'm going to try to see if um, possibly this was not very well glued on. I'm going to try at the the non-connector end to see if that's the case so that I don't damage the other end or, or don't damage it. So we're going to try just twisting this cap off and it is not budging and like I can see I don't want to force it especially on the other end so that didn't work the next suggestion was to apply some heat so I've got my heat gun here and we'll see what happens apply some heat and try turning the cap No, I, I, I can see that the pipe is starting to get soft and the cap is not coming loose. So I've, I'll abandon that idea. That was a good idea, but it didn't work. So we'll unplug this. So we tried uh, just brute force taking this off and we tried uh, using the heat gun. Neither one of those worked. So now we're going to get a little more radical here and we're going to go to the business end where the connector is and I'm not even going to try repeating the two things I tried. Let's move it back a little more. They didn't seem to have any possible success. Um, so the next thing, and let me oh, I'll turn it over again. Let me turn that connector down so it's less likely to be damaged. And uh, I went back to the uh, website, the uh, YouTube, YouTube, eBay website, and I looked at this guy who sells a lot of these, you know, hundreds. And he's got almost 99% uh, good feedback. So I'm thinking it's just this particular antenna, and somehow it's not working. Don't know why. So the next thing I was going to try to do is take the top off of this cap, just the very end of it off, with my Dremel tool. Move these things out of the way. And handy dandy Dremel tool. Where it's got a uh, cutting disc on it. And I need something I forgot. Safety glasses or a shield. So let's let I me mean, take a second to go find that. Okay, so I got my glue, this is dirty. Oh kind of dusty though, I need to wipe that off. If I, if I had to put that on the way it was, I would have thought I had cataracts. So dusty. So, we got my shield on. And where did everything go? Oh, okay. Here we go. Plug in a Dremel tool. And this is where it can get a little dicey. And it may, you know, if I'm... Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. I was just thinking if, <laughs> if I'm not recording or something like this, this is a one-shot deal and it'll be lost forever. So we're going to attempt to carefully take the end cap off. I'm, st I'm sorry I'm standing in the way. But
Maybe I could zoom in a little more. And I'm gonna have to move the camera down a little bit. There we go. There's what I'm working on. Yep, that's on the camera. Okay, here we go. Trying to be as, care as careful as possible. Oops, not to do things like that. Keeps grabbing once it breaks through. I don't know what I'm gonna find in here. Okay, that's that side. Let's turn it over. Probably should put a piece of tape over this connector, but and heck with it. There we go. Okay, let me shut this off. Matter of fact, I'll unplug it just to make sure I don't accidentally turn it back on. Hang that up over here. And I have the end cap off. And I'm looking down inside here. Don't know if this is showing up very well. Um, hmm. Kind of all crammed together inside there. And I'm looking down inside here. It's got some glue on the back of that connector. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this a break point and uh, take this back inside and set up to look down inside there. So this will be uh, phase one of the surgery.